I need to get the vacuum back up in here. I don't want to hear it. You are the messiest construction worker I have ever seen. This is disgusting. How do you work in this film? Exactly. Okay. All right, so George left for work. He had to work a little bit today. I got these guys all settled in school. And I am going to go upstairs and start sanding some drywall. One time somebody asked me, they said, how are you guys doing that all by yourselves? And I told them it's the only way that we can afford it. Move everything to one side of the room. Again. I'm sure some of you are wondering why this didn't get done before the wings kind of got done. Here's the reason. So this was going to originally be the ceiling, but as all things happen in construction, this could no longer be the ceiling. So uh, we need to go back and do all the hard work. Listen, here's my thought process. If there's a YouTube video about it, you can learn how to do it. Let me see why George gave me this job. I need coffee. Coffee. That's how it's going. I think I'm done with this wall. This was a pretty significant patch we had to do here. George tried to get the this piece of drywall, this this one piece right here would not go flush with the other two pieces. We uh, we played with it and played with it, and it was just kind of, it got to the point where I was like, okay, well, we're just gonna have to make it work when we mud. It's unfortunate. <laughs> so, I think I've got it. Okay, I got super nervous. I started painting the spots that George needed me to paint so he could push the vanity back and plumb. However, I didn't do a great job with drywall and sanding. It's, I'm a perfectionist in some areas of my life. In other areas, I'm a that'll workist. But in this particular area, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I don't like that I can see, you know, any kind of seam or line or anything like that. So it actually looks kind of bad. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I have some thoughts, maybe. One side I might leave, the other side I might take off and just start over from scratch. It's a little discouraging. However, I went ahead and I painted to see, you know, how it was going to look and everything. And I got super nervous because the blue that I picked was like the least of the blues that I picked. Like of all the blues, I picked this front card. Oh, are you alright? Alright, be careful. Do, go slow down the steps, Juliet. I picked this front card right here. Anyways, it's the least of the blues of the blues. The least blue of the blues. Um, anyways, so I started painting it on and it looked like Robin's egg blue and I panicked. I was like, ah, that's not the right blue. Anyway, now that it's drying, it's the right color blue and I'm obsessed. It's absolutely the perfect blue. I really do think that I have found the absolute perfect color of blue. Okay, I wanted to show you this before the sun went down because I've been trying to get a picture for you and I cannot get a picture of the actual color of this blue. How cute is that? Are you going to try to help me push this? Absolutely. <laughs> We're not moving it. We're going to break our doors. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Did you just bend them? You did. You just bent our doors. They do look bent, don't they? So we're going to take the sink off, push the cabinet back, and then put the sink on. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to. 
Okay, I'm signing up for the night. Got a big chunk done. Then in here, I got a lot more accomplished. All right, Hannah's brother Joe came over last night because this thing is still a beast. We were able to get it up against the wall. I don't think we're gonna keep his little backsplash. We just wanted to kind of see how it looked. Um, of course, there's you know a nice little gap, so we'll caulk that. And I'm gonna try to get this plumbing done today. So I think I measured for that right. There should be room for the drawer. Got to drill some holes for my drainage lines. And as careful as I was to try to tee that up perfectly even, it was not. take a shower so I could get ready for work and I wouldn't miss it but hopefully I'll be able to finish up this plumbing today these off and then see if the uh, pressure causes it to start leaking. It might not be leaking because they're not that much PSI. I'm not seeing any drips. See, these compression fittings are pretty good.
I never in my whole life thought I would be so excited at the sight of the toilet. I don't know. When you're sick and you gotta, you gotta go. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Yeah. I can't wait. Okay, we're coming out with you to peace. No, good for the uh, bolts. I want to make sure I can fit the bolts on after I get this in. All right, I think I'm doing this right. I'm creating, I'm putting in this spacer, which is a quarter inch, because eventually, if we get tiled, it will be thicker than this one. So, the plan is, get this all connected, here I tried to put the wax ring in the toilet and all that kind of stuff and ran into a couple issues one um, it was too high so <laughs> I cut that back out reinstalled this and then the normal style wax ring where go that I'm used to has this plastic but the plastic won't fit in there it's too big so I think I'm just gonna have to go with just a straight up old wax ring push it down and cross my fingers that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So let's give this a shot. Too long ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, this bathroom is so good. But yeah, we could have gone back to the wall a little bit. I guess most toilets are right up against the wall. Yep. I was just scared. So. Yikes, is that gonna be weird? <laughs> that, that sucks. It does seem like the toilet should be right up against the wall. Because that's what you, that's what you normally have. Yeah, I don't love that, to be honest. That's a little weird. Is there anything? Yep. What do you do? Nothing? Nope. <laughs> well, baby, so you just turn it on until the tank fills? Yep. I think there is a looks like a really slow uh, fill. Which, unless you're trying to flush, 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 flush a bunch of times in a row. just came two days early and um, I think ecstatic would be the right word. Can't wait to see them. Ah! She's <laughs> opening it like a three-year-old opens <laughs> up her birthday presents. <laughs> Christmas. I couldn't get it out the other way. I tried. She has no patience. <laughs> All right, let's see how these mirrors look. Goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I'm going to try to trick it. Is there something we can do about that? There we go. Just move it, yeah. Wow. What do you think about your new bathroom? <laughs> yeah, she had this one. What do you think? <laughs> what? It's really good. Can I turn it on? Yep. Oh, it works. Here is the reason why we have a massive sink right here. Boom, boom, and boom. What do you think, Will? It's a good one. I think it looks love. good. Does the toilet work? Hey, can I try? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think it should. You don't video it, Mom. What do you think? I need to go to the party right now. Okay. <laughs> I think it works great. All right, Daddy, give me five. Nice job. All right. Okay. Okay. So, question for you. Um, are you, how do I flip this camera? Are you good to like paint this? Because some of them are painted, but they look like there's uh, like cardboard on the back. And my fear is that okay. unless you uh, seal it, cardboard's not gonna do well in a moisture environment like a shower with steam. Right. So this kind of has okay. like a, whatever this like, this stuff, I feel like it's not like okay. waterproof, but I think it's like a tick more stable. Um, okay. Then like this, but if you look at the back, it's all like just like cardboardy. I mean, I can. We have filling paint, so I can do that. Okay, so you just want to. I mean, you just want to paint it.
It is absolutely freezing outside and raining. And the wind is blowing. <laughs> it's a horrible, freezing, rainy, windy, gustery, blustery day. Like Winnie the Pooh says. <laughs> blustery day. It's really cold outside. A lot of rain and wind. And George went and picked up our ceiling panel. Look how the wind is like blowing them around him like a sail. Oh my. Poor guy. Whoop, a little high. They're not heavy. They're just pretty hard. Look the wind. like wrapping it around you like a shawl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have been sanding in the bathroom again because my drywall mud is not looking very good. So, I finished it this time and I'm done with it. I don't care anymore. And this is just going to stand as a reminder when I'm looking in here of where I've come what will be, just kidding. <laughs> this is gonna be a reminder every time I see it of how bad I was because hopefully by the time I move downstairs, I'll be better. Anyways, I had to go and, well, I didn't have to, but unfortunately, this paint color looked like two different paint colors. It was so dark in here and so blue and looked amazing in there. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I went and got a different paint color that I thought would work for in here and look like the same paint colors in there. And oh my word, I succeeded. It is unreal. That is the old up there. You can see how much darker it is than this one. But this one looks like it's that paint color. So I'm super happy right now. That was an absolute win. So bad with the drywall, amazing at matching paint colors.